Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're taking you on a wild ride, not across oceans or over mountains, but across some of the most unbelievable bridges ever built by human hands, and maybe a few that look like they were built by wizards. You think bridges are boring? Think again. We've got a bridge that curls up like a roly-poly, one that disappears into the water, and another that shoots fountains like a Vegas show. Some of these bridges have stood for centuries, holding stories from a time before electricity, while others are engineering marvels so modern, they make your smart fridge look outdated. These aren't just bridges. These are architectural flexes, engineering mic drops and tourist traps you'll actually want to be trapped in. So buckle up or lace up your walking shoes, because we're about to cross 15 of the craziest, coolest, most creative bridges on planet Earth. Let's get into it. On Dashbashi Glass Bridge. You ever step onto something and instantly regret it? That's exactly what happens to most people the moment they set foot on this bridge. It's called the Dashbashi Glass Bridge, a jaw-dropping, nerve-testing, see-through walkway stretched across one of Georgia's wildest canyons. And no, not Georgia in the US. We're talking about the country, tucked between Europe and Asia. What makes this bridge so insane? For starters, it's 787 feet long, suspended nearly 1,000 feet above the canyon floor, and completely made of glass. Oh, and right in the middle, they hung a giant floating diamond-shaped bar. Yes, they built a bar in the sky. Dashbashi Canyon, about 55 miles from the capital city of Tbilisi, is a natural wonder carved by time itself, a steep, lush ravine that's as raw as it is beautiful. And someone looked at this majestic slice of earth and thought, let's put a glass bridge across it. Oh, and let's throw in a floating diamond bar while we're at it. Backed by a 40 million investment, the goal wasn't just to build a bridge. It was to redefine the entire idea of what a bridge can be, and maybe even land a Guinness World Record for the highest hanging bar in the world. Feeling brave? Try the zip bike, where you literally pedal a bike along a cable, over the canyon. Or take a ride on the cliff swing, if your idea of fun involves flying over a 900-foot drop while screaming your lungs out. So why did they build a bridge like this in the middle of nowhere? Simple. Because they could. Because humans love testing limits, turning raw nature into jaw-dropping experiences. This bridge isn't just a structure. It's a challenge. A dare. A question. How far are you willing to go to feel truly alive? If you thought the Dashbashi Glass Bridge was bold, welcome to London's Tower Bridge, where Victorian grandeur meets mechanical brilliance and skywalks meet history. Built between 1886 and 1894, Tower Bridge was London's answer to a growing city that couldn't afford to stop river traffic. Hosts of competing designs were submitted until Sir Horace Jones and Sir John Wolfe Barry delivered the winner. A neo-Gothic, steel-framed marvel draped in granite and stone to complement the Tower of London Tower Bridge spans about 800 feet across the Thames, with its twin towers soaring 200 feet above the water. Its central roadway consists of two bascule leaves that tilt upward, over 86 degrees, to let boats through. This lift used steam-powered hydraulics originally, and now runs on modern oil-electric systems, though the original engines remain on display in the engine rooms. In its first year, Tower Bridge lifted over 6,000 times, about 17 lifts a day. Today, it still lifts around 800 times annually, for free, whenever tall ships request it with 24 hours notice. But Tower Bridge is far more than a technical wonder. It's a visitor experience. High-level walkways between the towers, once closed due to misuse, were reopened in 1982 as part of the public exhibition. In 2014, glass floors were added, letting you literally look down through nearly three-inch thick panels to the river and traffic below, about 138 feet down. Built to solve a practical transit problem, it became a symbol of London, blending utility with drama. It connects past and present. The neo-Gothic aesthetic, Victorian steam engineering, and modern glass skywalks create layers of experience. Every year, about half a million visitors walk through its towers, climb to the walkways, and marvel at its engineering history still working today. Next up, a bridge that doesn't carry cars or trains, but boats. Yep, you heard that right. 
Welcome to the Magdeburg Water Bridge in Germany, a massive waterway in the sky that lets ships sail over a river. It's basically a bridge built for water, on water, over more water. Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, but it's real, and it's an absolute engineering masterpiece. Located near Magdeburg, about 100 miles west of Berlin, this 3,000-foot-long structure carries boats over the Elbe River. No locks, no detours. It links the Middle Land Canal on one side with the Elbe Havel Canal on the other, creating a direct route from Rhineland to Berlin. Before this existed, ships endured a seven-mile detour involving a 60-foot descent and ascent through boat lifts and locks. Construction started in 1997 and took six years, costing around 500 million. Its steel and concrete anatomy includes 24,000 tons of steel. That's more than twice what built the Eiffel Tower and 68,000 ME3 of concrete. Despite its boat-centric purpose, it's astonishingly accessible for visitors too. Now this one might just give your stomach a flip, literally. Welcome to the Ishima Ohashi Bridge in Japan, a structure that looks more like a roller coaster than a road. From certain angles, it seems to shoot straight up into the sky like a ramp to launch cars into orbit. But don't worry, it's not as terrifying as it looks. Well, unless you're scared of heights. Connecting the cities of Matsui and Sakai Minato, this bridge spans over a mile long and reaches a 6.1% gradient on one side. That's steep enough to make your coffee slide right off the dashboard. The design wasn't just for drama. It had to be built high enough to let ships pass underneath without interrupting road traffic. Practical? Yes. Mildly terrifying? Also yes. Despite its intimidating appearance, it's completely safe and regularly traveled by locals every day. But to outsiders, it's earned nicknames like the Roller Coaster Bridge or Bridge of Doom. If you're ever in Japan and want to feel like you're driving up the edge of the world, this one's for you. From roller coaster bridges to ancient shopping streets in the sky, let's head to Florence, Italy, where the Ponte Vecchio proves that a bridge can be more than just a way to cross water. It can be a place to shop, to fall in love, and to soak in centuries of history. All at once. Built in the 14th century, Ponte Vecchio, meaning Old Bridge, is the oldest stone bridge in Florence and one of the most iconic in all of Europe. But what makes it truly unique? It's lined on both sides with tiny shops, just like a medieval mall floating above the Arno River. Once home to butchers and tanners, which, let's be honest, probably didn't smell great, the bridge later transitioned to goldsmiths and jewelers, thanks to a royal decree that aimed to clean things up, both literally and financially. And here's a romantic twist. During World War II, when most of Florence's bridges were destroyed, Ponte Vecchio was miraculously spared, allegedly by direct orders from Hitler himself. Whether that's legend or fact, one thing's for sure. This charming, quirky bridge has stood the test of time. So if you ever want to buy a bracelet while standing on a piece of history, Ponte Vecchio's your spot. From Italy's jewelry bridge to Japan's masterpiece of wooden elegance, Welcome to the Kintai Bridge, a breathtaking structure in Iwakuni that looks like something out of a painting, or maybe a samurai film. Built in 1673, Kintai Bridge isn't your typical wooden footbridge. It features five graceful wooden arches stretching across the Nishiki River, supported by massive stone pillars. And it's not just about looks. This bridge was designed with strategy in mind. The river used to flood often, so the design had to be both beautiful and flood-resistant. Spoiler, they nailed it. Originally built without using a single nail, yes, really, the bridge was held together by an intricate wood joinery technique, a testament to the incredible craftsmanship of Edo period Japan. Over the centuries, it's been rebuilt and reinforced, especially after a typhoon in 1950 took it down. But it always comes back stronger and just as stunning. Today, Kintai Bridge is more than just a crossing. It's a national treasure, a cherry blossom hotspot, and a favorite photo op for locals and tourists alike. Walking across it feels like stepping into the past, with a postcard-perfect view in every direction. Now, here's something that seems to defy both gravity and logic, the Ponces Silt Aqueduct in Wales. This is no ordinary bridge. It was built in the early 1800s to do something remarkable. Carry canal boats over a deep valley 
without ever touching the ground below. At over 1,000 feet long and 126 feet high, supported by 18 slender stone pillars. It's the longest and highest navigable aqueduct in Britain, and yes, it's still in use today. The goal? To move goods and boats efficiently across rugged terrain during the Industrial Revolution, linking the Langolan Canal with the River Dee Valley. Instead of lowering boats or transferring cargo by land, engineers came up with a genius solution. Build a bridge filled with water and let the boats float across the sky. Built from cast iron and sealed so tightly it still holds water centuries later, the aqueduct is an engineering marvel. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where tourists in narrow boats drift across with nothing but a slender railing between them and a 126-foot drop. It's not just a bridge, it's a floating canal in the clouds and proof that bold ideas can stand the test of time. Next is a bridge that doesn't just open, it tilts. Meet the Gateshead Millennium Bridge, a sleek structure that literally flips on its side to let boats pass. Located in northern England, it connects pedestrians and cyclists between Gateshead and Newcastle. But this isn't your typical drawbridge. Instead of lifting up or splitting in half, the entire thing rotates backward in one smooth, giant motion, like a giant blinking eye. It's the world's first tilting bridge, powered by hydraulic rams that rotate the whole arc and base as one unit. In just a few minutes, it goes from flat to fully tilted and back again, quiet, precise, and weirdly satisfying to watch. Locals call it the Winking Eye Bridge, and it's easy to see why. It's smart, stylish, and does exactly what it's supposed to without making a fuss. A true feat of engineering that turns heads every time it moves. Now, let's head to the Netherlands, home of tulips, windmills, and a bridge that looks like Iron Man built it. Meet the Slauerhofbrug, better known as the Flying Drawbridge in the city of Leeuwarden. At first glance, it looks like a giant yellow flap randomly dropping from the sky. But this bridge is actually an engineering marvel. Instead of lifting up like most drawbridges, the Slauerhofbrug swings straight up and out of the way, like a robotic arm doing a power move and it does it in just 45 seconds. Designed to let boats pass through without causing traffic chaos, this bridge uses hydraulic arms that hoist a section of the road up and out of the way, giving ships room to glide through and then dropping the road back down like nothing ever happened. At first glance, Banpo Bridge in Seoul might seem like just another city bridge, but wait until night falls, this thing comes alive. Spanning the Han River, Banpo isn't just a bridge. It's the world's longest bridge fountain, featuring the Moonlight Rainbow Fountain. Over 380 jets spray water from both sides, shooting nearly 70 feet outward, while synchronized lights and music turn the whole thing into a nightly water and light spectacle. What's even cooler? The fountain system is designed with eco-friendly tech. It uses recycled river water, and the entire performance is powered with efficiency in mind. During the day, Banpo Bridge connects traffic. At night, it connects people, locals, tourists, and curious passers-by, who all stop to watch the river dance. It's not just a bridge, it's a show in motion. Up next is something small but seriously clever, the rolling bridge in London. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary footbridge, but give it a moment, and it starts to curl up like a living creature. Instead of swinging or lifting like a typical drawbridge, this one rolls itself into a perfect octagon. Designed by Thomas Heatherwick, it's made of eight steel segments connected by hydraulic pistons that fold the bridge neatly to the side whenever a boat needs to pass. Once the canal is clear, it slowly unrolls back into place, ready for foot traffic. It's part sculpture, part solution, proof that even the smallest bridges can steal the show. Next, we head to Spain, where reaching a tiny island feels like a quest straight out of Game of Thrones. This is the Gas de Lugaxe footbridge, a winding stone path that connects the mainland to a dramatic rock islet perched in the Bay of Biscay. To get there, you'll need to climb 241 steps, snaking along a narrow, ancient-looking bridge that hugs the cliffside. With crashing waves below and rugged hills all around, every step feels epic. At the top, 
a lonely hermitage called San Juan de Gastelugatse, dating back to the 10th century. Legend says if you ring the church bell three times and make a wish, it just might come true. This place isn't just photogenic, it's spiritual, cinematic, and slightly exhausting. But totally worth it. Let's step back in time, way back, to the days of the Inca Empire. High in the Peruvian Andes, there's a bridge made entirely of woven grass. Yes, actual grass. This is the Cueswachaca Bridge, and it's not just a piece of engineering, it's a living tradition. This is the world's only surviving grass suspension bridge, and the last of its kind built using Inca engineering techniques. Stretching about 120 feet across the Apurimac River and hanging at a height of 220 feet, it's barely wide enough for one person at a time. For over 500 years, local communities have been building and rebuilding this bridge by hand using Aichu grass braided into thick ropes. No steel, no concrete, just ancient know-how passed down through generations. And here's the catch. They rebuild it every single year in a four-day communal festival. It's part ceremony, part construction, and all teamwork. For centuries, this bridge was the only way to cross between remote villages in the Canis region. Even today, it's still actively used by locals from Quechua communities like Hainchiri, Kakolana, Chupibanda, and Chalkaihua. This bridge isn't just a way across a river, it's a living piece of history. Next up, welcome to Cambridge, England, home of brilliant minds, historic colleges, and a bridge that's smarter than it looks. This is the Mathematical Bridge, officially named the Wooden Bridge at Queen's College. But let's be honest, everyone calls it the Mathematical Bridge because of its clever design. At first glance, it looks like an elegant arch. But here's the twist. It's made entirely of straight wooden beams. No curves, no tricks, just pure geometry. We've saved something truly special for last. Deep in the lush jungles of Meghalaya, India, you'll find a bridge that isn't built, it's grown. The living root bridges are made from the aerial roots of the ficus elastica tree, carefully guided by the Kasi people across rivers and streams. They weave the roots through hollowed out trunks or bamboo scaffolding, slowly training them to form sturdy living walkways. What makes these bridges extraordinary is that they're alive. As the roots grow thicker and stronger over the years, sometimes even decades, they form natural structures sturdy enough to carry people across. Some of these bridges are over 100 feet long and can support dozens of people at once. Unlike traditional bridges that degrade over time, these botanical marvels grow stronger with age, thriving in the region's humid climate. They're not just practical, they're a brilliant example of sustainable engineering, blending nature, and human ingenuity in perfect harmony. Which one blew your mind the most? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you love discovering the wonders of our world.